Alright everyone. This is how do you play a little bit? Alright. Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Lost Legends of uh, Redwall, the Scout, Act 3, that I've been waiting on so long. Um, it is currently January 5th, so um, perhaps a bit late, but um, yeah, nothing else to it. So, um, same as before, we're gonna record, uh, you know, chap chapter by chapter and uh, maybe cut that up if we, we take too long. And we're gonna start with playing as Liam first, as always. The Winsome Wraith. This is where the demo took place. So uh, I kinda know this part. Shh, it's that in the end. Who's that? Shh, you'll see. It's the stuff he's gonna get Liam. <laughs> Just watch. Not there, you already know what happened. I only know because my grandfather told me when I was sick. It seems William is enjoying your play, Father. I'm happy he's found something to get his mind off everything else. William has grown into a fine young mouse. He's taken quite a liking to the young scouts. You know, he told me that Sophia reminds him of a certain someone. A certain someone? Who? Why, you, of course. Oh, goodness. I am nothing like Sophia. There are so many ways that I have failed him as a parent. I mean, his father... William is a wise dibbon and an understanding one. He'll be all right. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> Where have you been, Matthew? You missed the whole second act. <laughs> uh, uh, so sorry. Uh, I think I got that cold you had, William. I barely convinced Mum to let me come back and see the rest of the play. Come on, you just made it in time for Act 3. Uh, what's going on? Liam is going to get eaten by stones. <laughs> uh, what I miss? Shh, you guys, I want to watch. Well... We've got to get Matthew up to speed. Liam made it to the lighthouse, but with scum snout hot on his heels. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How did he get to the lighthouse again? And, uh. <laughs> oh, I was scum snout there. Scum snout and his rats attacked Lily Grove. Remember? It was the night that Liam was awarded the title of Eagle Eye and initiated into the Lily Grove Scout Corps. But scum snout and his sea rats attacked. And so Captain Robin sent Liam to light the Lily Grove Lighthouse. Oh, right. I remember now. But then Scum Snout sent him flying off the lighthouse tower with his massive tail. But don't worry, Liam was okay. He landed in a pile of hay. Sophia had been bitten by Scum Snout, whose drool was as poisonous as an adder. Ew! She needed a healer. So Robin sent Liam and Sophia to the Winsome Wraith, where an old friend of his would be able to help them. Of course Liam had some trouble along the way to the Wraith, but Fraby and the more Glimber joined in to help. They made new enemies too, like the Sea Rat Captain, Cheese Thief. Cheese Thief was after the mice because he knew they had a special key, the Tanagram. Then, in Pontederia, Liam had to battle Scumsnout again. What is that weird problem? Scumsnout chased Liam over the docks and bridges of Pontederia. Finally, Liam jumped across and Scumsnout... Well, he didn't make it. It's about time. He fell down into a giant sinkhole. And they all found the winsome wraith. There was just one... Catch. The healer was a stout. A stout? But aren't stouts dangerous? I guess you'll have to find out. And what makes you think we want to help you, little mouse? Well, we. Stand are... down, Bolo. Now, Scout, you said. Robin sent you. 
Yes, that's right. Please, it's my Sophia here. She's being poisoned. Captain Robin said you could help her. Of course we can. They're strangers. That's enough. Both of you. Oh, mouse does look in a bad way. You better come inside. Welcome to the Winsome Wraith. This is my son, Bolo. My daughter, Mila. Hi. You'll have to forgive us for frightening you. We have a standard protocol for strange visitors. I wasn't being frightened or... Hey. No. What's happened to this young mouse? She was bit by that wretched wear-it scum snout. The one with the infectious snout? I see. Come, here's the infirmary. I'll see to Sophia immediately. Your friend's not looking too good, eh? Great diagnosis, Bo. Shut up, Toad for brains. Enough. Lie her down here. Ouch. Ouch. What were you doing around a wear it anyway? Bolo, please fetch the fever few from the pantry. Hurry now. Fine. Oh, fine. Mila, my flower, I need you to stir this mix. Keep it to the flame, but do not let it boil. Yes, Papa. It smells worse than ever. What you're <laughs> smelling is what? The broken skin has gone black with infection, but it hasn't yet spread to the blood. There's time, but not much. No, bust the blight. We need more ginkgo before the tincture gets too warm. Can you fetch it from the back shelf? It will smell like this leaf here. Right away. So not exactly how I remember it. I guess there's a bit of a change. Then I can again. Why not? Um, smells like a leaf. Yeah, so no. Dark blue or navy blue, um, whatever that's the name now again, and yellow. Okay, so. Still look. No, it's not that. This. Oh yeah, and in the demo there wasn't any. This is definitely ginkgo. It's um, me like it was out uh, there somewhere. Perfect, thank you. The tincture should be almost at temperature. Next, I need Valerian. A sleeping herb that will help Sophia get the rest she needs. I believe the jar on the shelf here is empty, but uh, you can find extra on my bedroom's nightstand. Head to the port side of the ship and look for the room that smells like me. You'll know it when you sent it. You, you don't know it when you see it, you know it when you sent it. Alright. But yeah, the voice acting wasn't in place. Uh, it was for... Uh, she sees us, nothing else really. Um, have a I shout. we finally made it, Freddy. Aye. And thank Martin, they've got dinner cooking for us. Ooh, my stomach sounds like a growling wildcat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sophia. Ah, don't you be quivering your tail off, Liam. Robin said Valo's the best healer south of the Red Wall. Plus, Sophia's a fighter. I'm not worried. So, yeah, uh, some things have changed, but uh, I believe uh, generally it's the same. What do you think about the spring holes? Well, uh, they seem friendly. Except for that Bolo, he's making me nervous. Ah, but don't worry. If he tries anything, I swear I'll knock him. He's about five times your size, Freebie. Ah, what of it? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, he's a little sensitive about his uh, size. Something about it. <laughs> How are you doing, Freebie? I'm afraid I've been so preoccupied with Sophia's condition. I haven't checked in on you. Don't worry about me. I'm great. Although, this journey has been rather exhausting. I'm so grateful you're here with us, Freddy. I couldn't have made it here without you. Truly. Well, I did save our tears a few times. Still, I think you're the right person to be carrying the Tangram. Well, 
will surely be safe in Valor's paws here. Aye, that's what Captain Robin says. There's something on your mind, Liam? It was really just a few days ago, back home in Lillygrove. With no idea we'd be facing rats, flying with an owl, flooding a mole camp, and now, befriending stunts. <laughs> Not to mention knocking the heads of a few dozen sea rats. What do you think comes next, baby? Who knows? But maybe that's part of the fun. Let's see about this. At least the Tangram will be safe now. I just want to know what it's for. And why the rats are chasing us for it. While we're at it, let's not forget to give the stoats a rundown of those rats, in case they stumble this way. I hope the rats stay clear of this place. But you're right. Of course, you're right. We'll warn them. We'll warn them. Seeing how you could see there, win some rays from Pontideria, I doubt it. We'll chat more at supper. Something in here too. Fossil, I believe. There, yes. Let's see if I remember this. Ranking this one up. Don't worry, Sophia, and we we'll be right with you. the first two, so um, I finally got this one. Uh, I did get it once I last time I played it, but uh, I died by jumping into a river somehow. So uh, <clears throat> then it said that I didn't have it anymore. So um, yeah, resetting the entire progress, I finally managed to get it. I'm not sure. It actually does, so it, it's like follow the glow or something. There we go. Not sure why we actually needed that box down there, but it it is, I guess, so we can jump over that. But uh, clearly, you don't need it. Done here? Yep. Yep. Let's check it on. Check in on Glimba. Hello, Glimba. Oh, hello, Mr. Liam. I must say, this whole ship be much cosier than I did be imagining. Any thoughts on the scrimples? They seem rather friendly. I do be liking that little Mila. She did give all your flower from her collection, she did. Her. How welcoming. What sort of flower? Oh, I don't know. I was too shy to ask her. It was a pretty one, though. Said she'd be helping me put in my fur later. Her. I do like flowers. How are you doing? Oh, I'm okay. A bit better than I would have been thinking I'd be. Her. That's wonderful to hear. You do seem a bit less shaky. Or maybe it be just we finally somewhere cozy. Let's hope we don't run into any more rats here on out. What did you say? I sure don't want to be messed with no rats again either. I think I've had enough for one day. Maybe a whole lifetime. You don't think Cheese Thief is following our trail, do you? That big rat we be seeing at Camp Sylvie's hand. I don't know. Sea rats being quite superstitious creatures, or I do be wondering if they'd like a wrecked ship like this. And... You're probably right. Still, we should warn Barlow over dinner. Er, Okie dokie. I'll be taking your lead. Er... 
I'm just glad Scumsnout's finally gone for good. I don't know how you be facing him alone the first time, Earl. Scumsnout be the biggest red I've ever seen, Earl. But he isn't even that. Or, well, not entirely. He's part weasel. Or well, something of the sort. Oh, that'd be all the more frightening, Earl. like him. We can enter here. Just see what we can take from here. Real quick. There's a jam in there. What the fuck's that? Ew. I'm not gonna like run around looking for everything, but uh, you know, if I can't find it, or it's, if it's in my path, then I will take it up, pick it up. Aha! There it is! I have to get this back to Valo. That second vent coming from? No, it's gone now. Okay. Never mind then. I didn't realize my supply was so low. But should be enough for a mouse. All right, Mila. That should be enough. Let that cool while we clean and dress the wound. Clear any dirt and fur and make sure it's dry before we apply the salve. Now, Bolo. Bolo? Oh boy, please excuse him. Guests are a tricky thing for a scrimp horse. Especially so since. Um, it's important I see to the stitching on the bite. Would you go grab the fever few from Bolo? Fever few is great for making your fever fewer. That's why Papa is using it for Sophia. She keeps mumbling such odd phrases. Those teeth. Did Bolo ever find a fever few? Well, we have to talk to him and he will like absolutely say no. What is it? sent me to see if you found the fever view yet. It's not in the pantry, ask Mila. I don't know. But Valo sent you to collect it. I'm not your cabin boy. You have a nose, don't you? Find it yourself. I know you have it, and my Sophia needs it. Can't you just give me some... Boo-hoo for your Sophia. I told you already, I don't have any. I can smell the fever view on you. You want me to tell Valo you're messing with his medicines? Are you threatening me, Mouse? Ha! <laughs> Get lost. I know I can smell fever. I follow his scent. I'm sure I can find wherever he hit. Why would he hide it in the first place? So I had a bad feeling about this guy in the demo. And uh, I guess we're gonna finally see what it's all about now. In the full game. As I said, I will pick it up if I can, can find it. And this is his room. Look at this. This is me. No, this is me. Milas, yes. There might be something in here anyway, like that. So they may not have changed the places on collectibles or whatever. Um, Food, I would love that. Oh, okay, it's Christmas uh, stuff. Those things. Um, but yeah, I'm quite sure it's working uh, with the uh, pirates to one extent or another. 
found it. There it was. Got it. Did Bolo put the fever view here on purpose? Why would he do that? Nothing in here. A lot of ale, though. Holy shit. Yeah, these guys are getting drunk <laughs> Christmas Eve. We should probably check all the, this we're picking up so we also do it for absolutely nothing. That's the heart. Rest now for a while. Who is she? It will take some time to settle in her system, but it will slow the infection and bring down her fever. In the meantime, I'm sure you are quite weary yourself. Would you care for some dinner? Oh, yes! I made a great soup today. Perfect for warming you up on a cold winter's night. I'll have it heated up in a whisker. Come by me in the galley when you're ready to eat, okay? Oh, this here is a special key, the Tango. No one said it would be safe with you. What were you thinking, Spring Hunter? What? Liam, where did Robin get this? I don't know. I don't even know what it's for. Only that the rats want it, and it's important they don't get it. Please, Robin trusts you to keep it safe. And I... I don't know what else to do with it. Very well. I'll put this in my study and we will discuss it later. For now, it's important Sophia gets a rest. And you ought to as well. Let Mila know when you're ready for supper. Until then, please, make yourself at home. If you'd like to chat with me or anyone else, you ought to do it before we eat. Thank you, Mr. Scrimple. For everything. You call me Valor. Any friend of Robin's is a friend of mine. I am quite curious as to what events led to all this. But that can wait for a warm bowl of soup. I like it. <laughs> I, I like Valo, you know, talk to us before we eat. <laughs> um. Oh, was that uh, Valo that uh, smelled like that? I guess it was. about the Redwall universe, but uh, 
Dark Forest, I believe, is like when you die, you go there or something. I know people who would not agree with that statement. <laughs> I have to say, I've never been in the home of the... I, I mean, Stokes before. I wasn't sure what to expect. I really hope you can all feel at home here. You and your father seem quite close. We are. I'm going to be a healer as good as him someday. So he spends lots of time with me, teaching me everything he knows. Captain Robin? Captain Robin? Do you mean Uncle Jeb? He's the captain. Uncle Jeb? Who's that? He lives nearby, just past the slough. Sometimes we go to his house for lunch, or he comes to ours. He's the best. Besides Papa, of course. And I guess, um, Won Bolo ain't, the, you know, the brightest, so uh, he's gonna shun away. What's your brother Bolo like? I admit. Doesn't seem too keen on having us as guests. Oh, don't mind him. Pa says he's going through a phase. Ah well, I was once a teenager myself. I don't see why he has to be so mean sometimes, though. But really, he isn't so bad. He even saved my life from a hawk once. Why, Martin, you must have luck on your side. I wouldn't call it luck. We are quite the talented sibling duo, you know? Remember, a few seasons ago, when Dryditch Fever came back? Well, I snuck away from home to help Avon find the cure. But I got caught by a hawk. Bolo came to rescue me. Though, I'm sure I could have escaped on my own. The family matters, and it confirms, at least to me, that... Uh... Liam and Sophia are not teenagers and probably in their twenties something. Avon? I heard that name before. Didn't you hear? Avon saved all moss flower from the fever. But you know, I helped Avon get the cure to Red Wolf just in the nick of time. Is that so? I sure did. The animation is new. In the demo they just stood still and looked. Anyway, and... Uh, oh, yes. It's an awful spring. We were lucky the field didn't quite reach Lily Grove before the cure arrived. So many of the critters can share our luck. Aye. But you know, I helped Avon get the cure to Redwall just in the nick of time. He said that. I haven't heard much about your mother. Away. So sorry. What was your mother like? Oh, she was so spirited and vivacious. All four of us would go on these long walks through the forest each and every evening after supper. And while Papa gathered herbs, Ma would draw sketches of the trees. She thought trees were the most beautiful things in the world. She'd go on about the life that flowed through the veins and the leaves and how they connected to the limbs. And the trunk and all the way 
way deep into the roots in the soil, as if the tree were a critter itself. I loved listening to her talk. Wow. Would have loved to have met her. She would have loved to meet you too. Don't know if I should ask this, but uh, you know, sure, why not? May I ask what happened to me? Mark got real sick. Not even Papa knows why. Or what was wrong. He couldn't heal her. My scout captain said your father is the best healer outside of Redwall. He is. He was almost able to save Mama. He tried everything he knew, but there was something wrong with her heart. I wanted to look at it, see if I could figure out what was wrong. Let me. So I just have to make you. Uh, wait. You wanted to look at the heart? If I can examine it, I may be able to discover what was wrong with it. What made her so sick? Well, I suppose so. Well, I've never heard of anyone doing that before. Well, that's creepy. <laughs> <clears throat> Papa said they wouldn't be able to help her there. He said his medicine was good enough, and it was. For a while, we thought she was getting better, see? But she wasn't. So I just hope that I can learn enough from a mask condition to help others who get sick too. Your bravery is truly admirable, Mila. I think you'll make a fantastic reward here. Alright. And let's see. Uh, I think it's spoke enough, but kind of messy um, cook, I gotta say. You want to be a healer then? I already am a healer. I'm just not the best one yet. But once you are, you're going to go to Ridwall. Yup. Bolo says I shouldn't set my sights so high, being a stoat and all. But if I'm the best healer there is, they have to let me work there. Right? Of course! Redwall is dedicated to helping others. They're certain to take in all the best healers. You're right! I just have to figure out what happened to make Mama sick first. Yes, I am. Now, Leo. About Sophia. I'm sorry to say, but my remedy for her is only temporary. What do you mean? What she needs is calendula. I've seen the worst of Adamite seal, but fortunately, the flower doesn't grow here. Liam, you need to continue on to Redwall. To Redwall? Can she make it that far? If anyone can help Sophia, it's the Redwall healers. That's why I'm going to work there too. As if Redwall would allow a stone to heal their ill. Ha! They will if I'm the best! I'll... Enough. In any case, the Redwall healers are the best. Should make it so long as you hurry. And I know shortcut to the Abbey. Once there, the healers will heal her up in no time. And you'll be welcome there. Woodlanders are always welcome at Redwall. Yeah, and you're not a woodland. Enough! Well, I suppose it's off to Redwall then. And here I thought our journey was over. You're welcome to rest here as long as you need. Now, let's eat. What an amazing feast, Barlow. We greatly appreciate you inviting us into your home. And for caring for Sophia. You're very welcome, young scout. Now tell me, how did your betrothed come to be bitten by such a foul beast? Sea rats. They've come much further in than we'd ever expect. Who knows why? We had to get Sophia to safety. And for the other reason, I told you. Of course. What other reason? Never mind, Bolo. When Bolo simply won't help, he'll hand it off to the well. Uh huh? What was that? Say it again. When Bolo simply won't help, he'll hand it off to the well. Did we miss something? Just a little game of scrimples play. Sending a riddle inside a riddle. At dinner, it's usually something like... Uh... Loaf! Bread. When I don't help, Pa calls me a loaf. And I call you a whelp. Hand it off to the whelp. You want me to pass the bread. You solved it! Very clever, my flower. Of course I figured it out, Pipsqueak. That was an easy one. Do you all want to try? Well, that sounds fun. Okay. Here's an easy one to start. 
With cheese, they come on an adventure to trust the stoats with their treasure. Uh, fuck. Um. It's cheese. Oh, you mean mice? Us? We came to you on an adventure to trust our treasure. Sophia! We came to ask for your help with Sophia. Ding ding! That's right! Oh, her! I did think that might have been the answer. So Here's one another one. And I'll even give you a hint. It's about me. Winter May brings no showers, but in spring comes a white flower. Good. Oh, you! Valo calls you his flower, so you're the white flower. Were you born in spring? Gang, gang! You're really good at this. You missed the first part, though. Papa used to call Mama his snow shower because she had white flecks in her fur, and they met in winter. How would they have known that? Let me do one. You're such a hog, Mila. Bolo. Solve this. Not only do the bog toads croak, so do pit squeaks with too much loaf. <laughs> Eating too much bread? He's making fun of me. If you didn't talk with so much food in your mouth, I wouldn't have to. That's enough. I think Liam and his friends have had enough games for the night. What do you say, Liam? Oh, I don't mind. 